Um, do you know how to read this bolded word right here? You've struggled with it. Hi. Um, cleaning up. Show right. te. Not te. So, um, it is so, but then g. So g. Um, do you know how to read this part? Yubisashita. Perfect. Point to at. Our next word is darake. Dake, darake is like a suffix that gets added to things to mean um full of. But not in an ipai kind of way. Like ipai is like positive. Like, ooh, I'm full. Or I got a bunch of presents. Darake is more like there's a bunch of junk here. Is how um, that word's used. So it's like a negative fullness. Um, hey, darake. Right. Can you do this for me? Garaku ta, garaku ta darake. Um, rubbish. And then full of rubbish. Hi, right, full of rubbish. Perfect. So now you get to go read the line from the book. Benetto wa. Garakta, garakta, darake no. Ya, um, o ya. Hey ya, hey ya, o. Yubi sashta, soji. Benet points at the room full of. Darakuta, darake, a full of junk. Right. And he say, Queen, soji. Queen, period. <laughs> Cleanliness. <laughs> would be weird. And what does the main character think about that? Hi, hi. Wakarimashita yo. Hi, hi. I know already. Wakarimashita no. Perfect. I know already. Our sassy baby. Um, what does furimuku mean? Furimuku. Right. Furimuku. Benetto ga ore no ho o furimuita. Benetto ga ore no furimuita. Ah. It's related to Mukau. She turned back. Yes. Lynette turned in a Mukau kind of way. She turned here. Furi Muita. He turned. I. Muita so, is like. Turn food deck. So he, so he shake his head in a turning. Yeah. Um furimuku means to turn towards. So the muku is towards, right? From mukau. Um but mukau is a noun and muku is a verb. So this is Bonnet turn towards my direction. Um furi kaeru. <laughs> is to turn around specifically your head your head turns around um but here Bennett probably wanna did a, a 180 spin right in this um context um that's why the main character at the says to a te no tokona todokanai basho that's why he steps back to a place that he cannot reach uh he as in Bennett. um next sentence from the book Benetto wa kaidan o nobotte ita. Benet climb the stairs. Perfect. Benet climb the stairs away from the current location. Um, so, so is something that I think that's the first time it's popped up in this book, but it's something you probably vaguely already know this version of soul. 
which is a not adjective. So not so this ne, uh, which is probably the same so theoretically, but it's just very like different for like translating purposes. This means um it looks like like a mochiro so na hon would be a book that looks interesting. All you do with this is add stem form to so. Like for example, like I said earlier, a mochiro so na hon, which is a book that looks similar. So the sona is, uh, we talked about it before, is similar to mitai ni and yoni, but it's actually literal. It's not looks like, um, this book looks um, like a pig or something. I, I, I don't know how to do a similar with the word book. Um, it is literal. The book looks interesting. It's, you're not making a med, uh, simile. You're just making a hypothesis. Um, do you know what torikakata means? You might read this sentence. It is um, one we've only seen once, but it's combined with toru to take and then um, kakaru, but I, I don't know if that will really help that much with uh, guessing what it means. Toru kakaru, tori kakata. Tori kakata. Doa no jo mai yo. Yabari ni Yabuti. tori kakata. Yaburi tori kakata. Doa no cho mai yubo yaburi ni tori kakata. So tori kakata means to begin. Begin. So the sentence says, I took out, I quickly took out um some wire. And I set to begin um, picking the lock. I set to be to it and commence lock picking of the door. Um, can you read this word for me? Yo sa so. All right. So this so is like when you got the e and we added it to so, but it it got conjugated differently than normal. So yo sa so. So it literally, it it looks good. Is a literal translation of this, yo sa so. But um, it's used in a like, that sounds good. That that sounds like a good idea. That, that's looking good type of word rather than nor always being like, hmm, that looks good. It's not like that <laughs> in the context anyway. It's, it's more like, hmm, this sounds like a good idea. That is looking good. Um, so let's go read the line from the book. Gara kuta no yama o mimash mima washta sasato tori kakata hoga yo sasoda. I gaze. No, I gaze. I I stare at the mountain of rubbish. Hey, right. the mawasu here comes from mawasu, which means turn or around. So mi mawasu means you're turning your eye around as you miri. So it means to look around. Mi mawasu. So this is very similar to I, So to gaze at was a good guess by context. And I, look around at the mountain of garbage. So what does he like garbage. decide to do? Sasato tori kakata. I began to Hmm. Is there shortly... a period here? Hoga yo saso. Oh God, so so so. Oh, it's uh, should I should. Hi. Uh, oh, is like, is um. It seems like I should begin. Hi. That's exactly what this is. It seems like I should begin. Uh, sasatoli, which means immediately. Sasato. I should start immediately. I guess. 
Immediate. So this is a word we've seen back in the first chapter. Do you know what sutere means? Sutere. Sutere is to clean. Close. It does have, when you're cleaning, you probably will be sutereing lots of things. It might even be in the kanji. I don't think it is, but I'll double check. It is not in the kanji. But they all, but they do have a hand in it, which hands very useful. Suteru, suteru means to throw away. Which, when cleaning, suteruing well, things is very useful. Um, but specifically, it's to to take this throw away. So this is the kanji for suteru. We got a hand, we got some metal, and we're throwing it inside of a box. Throw away your garbage. Or metal garbage. So how do you read it? Uteru. Hi. Um do you remember what this word meant? Me suterareta. Forlorn. Abandoned. Yes. Forsaken, yep. Machiwa ni suterareta yoni wabishkata. The mansion was, I mean, sorry, the city, Machi, the city was wretched as if it had been abandoned. So that is our yo for the action and emotion behind something rather than the physical appearance. Like, what would abandonedness even physically look like? You probably can't really sit out at Dami Daini. I guess that'd be if someone thought they were abandoned, but it turns out they weren't abandoned, is when you'd use me, Tai. Uh, because they, they thought the physical action occurring was abandonment, but it wasn't. Um, versus the yoni is more like the feeling behind that. This is like your really good example of the difference between yoni and mitai. Hi. Um, what is the potential form of misteru? Misteru. Misterareta. Oh, potential. You're correct. Misteru um, is a ta verb. So um, passive form and potential form is the same for do verbs. Misteta, misteru. Right. It's not misetete. Misetete. Too many tests. Too many Um. Do you remember how to read this word? Ako. Perfect. Yep. Boxes. What is... Never mind. Do you happen to know what wakeru means? Wakeru. Understand. Or to divide thinking... up. Yes. So to understand is wakaru. Wakaru. Which does have that same kanji there. Wakaru. But wakeru is the dividing up version. So... Ga wakaru o wakeru. I divide something. Wakaru is a u verb, so wakatte, and wakeru is a do verb. Um, how do you read this kanji again? Wakeru. Perfect. What is the potential form of to use in Japanese? Karare. Karare. Good guess, good guess. Stu. So you just did um passive form. We want potential form of skau, which is not a do verb, it is a u verb. So it is the above part is tsuka. And we're gonna. Su, eh, su, Hi. Skaeru. Skaeru. Yep. So skaeru means can use skaeru. Skaeru. What is the te form of to divide? Te form. Walk at that. Perfect. Walk at that. Okay, and how do you read this kanji again? Suteru. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence from the book. 
まずは箱その後黒い古い古い古い古い椅子やテーブルを外に出して使えるものと捨てるしかないす。しかないものを分けよう。はい。Let's divide up the things that。Let's start with our first clause,、uh, which is 外を出して。まず、箱。その後に、その後、古い椅子やテーブルを。テーブルを外に出して。それは、first clause。We say firstly the the box。and then afterward、その後、the old chair and the table。we will put them outside。はい、so contractually。first we're gonna take out the box。and after that we're gonna take out the old chair and tables。So the verb, soto ni dasu, is also describing the hako,、um, the boxes first.、Um, so, what's the next thing he's going to do? Next, he's going to divide. He's going to walk a yo, but yo here means he's saying less. I will. Yes, I will. I will. Divide up the thing、okay. that. Shikanai meaning nothing but、uh, suteru. Shikanai mean cannot throw away. The thing that cannot be thrown away.、Um, suka, sukairu mono. The thing that can be used、Hi. and the thing that cannot be thrown. So, shika, what does shika mean? Shika only. Nothing、hmm, but. Nothing except for. So, except for, except for throwing away, there's nothing else. Is s u t e r u s h i k a n a i which means there's no choice but to throw it away. So, I want you to divide it between things you have to throw away and things that you can use. But that rather than saying have to, like nakereba, they're using、uh, s h i k a n a i to illustrate that kind of idea. Because he doesn't actually have to do anything. There's just no other option but to throw it away because the thing is garbage. Right? The only option is throwing it away. Except for throwing away, there's nothing else. The thing that, that can't be used. Yep. Oh, no, no. That, that has to be thrown away. The thing that has to be thrown away. Yep. There's nothing except for throwing no. that thing away to be done. Nothing except. Nothing except to throw away. Hi. Any idea how、nothing、to read this、except. word?、Um, which one, Mani? I still haven't seen it. It'll, it'll load soon. Do, 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 Whenever possible. Kibako. Do you remember how to read this word? It means the moment. Kizuita.、Um, in the moment? The moment, not in the moment. It is the moment I kizuita. The moment I got closer. Chikazuita, sorry. Chikazuita. Uh, Aida. You're right、Can、that this、Aida? kanji right here is Aida. 
However, these are two kanji, which means it's going to be either being given its um, friends with benefits reading, or it's going to be getting its married reading. Do you know what the reading of Ida is when it's the friends with benefits reading? Which is in the word um, large room. Ma. Yes. That is ma. How about it's married reading, like in um, time? Married reading, as in time. Okay. Which starts with G. Time. Yes, jikan. So friends with benefit is ma, like in kiruma, and kan from jikan. In this context, it is the married reading of kan. This is shunkan. Shunkan. Kizuita shunkan. Shunkan, Mani? Hi. Jun, shunkan or junkan? I saw you wrong. Shu. Jun. Shu. Shukan. Shukan. It is Shunkan. I was like, is it Shukan? Shu. <laughs> it's uh, Shun. Shunkan. Hi. Maybe doubt myself for a second. I was like, oh, what wrong? <laughs> Shunkan. Hi, hi. Do you know what? Oh, sorry. This is the first time you've seen it. Sad it. This is another rotten word. So many rotten words in Japanese. Kusaru, uh, kuchiru, all those words. This one is more like rotten like meat, since the niku kanji there, versus rotten like wood, which is the kuchiru right here, which has the tree kanji. Um, but they're both just rotten. Um, so this is a u-verb. What is the stem form of kusaru? Kusari. Perfect. Um, what's the what does wake mean? Like, oh, not a hodo. Um, that is the reason. Okay, perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Or the kusari kakaru. Hey, kusari kakaru. So this is just like the other kakarus we've been seeing a lot, like um, kare kakaru and kuchi kakaru and all those words, which basically means it is rotted, but not rotted away. So it's not rotted away, but it is rotted. Um, can you read this for me? Omoi wake ga wakata. What does that mean? The reason for it being heavy, I understand. Perfect. Perfect. Do you know what futa means? Like futa no nai ges gesu iko. Futa no nai. Futa, futa is a. Uh... It's not fat. You're close. Fat is futoi. Futoi. This is a noun. Um, hence the fact that no goes after it, and so can ga go after it. This is the um. This means futa is a noun. So this is a gesuiko, a um sewage sewer, not sewage that does not have a futa. There is no futa on the so the su the sewer sewer. Right, a cover, a lid. Yes. Futa is lid. Perfect. Yeah. Do you know what makasere means? It's a very common anime word. Makasere is uh, to depend on. Yeah, to depend on. Perfect. Do you know what shigoto means? It's to work. Perfect. Work as a noun. It ends with goto. Do you know what it started with? She. Perfect. What is the te form of makaseru? Makasete. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Thought I'd give you some hard nouns from our past. 
えー、へーは、飯使いに仕事を任せた。Perfect! The bodyguard depends on the work of using? Hi! So you were you remembered the reading of these words, but you didn't remember their meaning. Ehe is a guard, but not like a Yoljin Bull kind of guard, but like um police officer kind of guard, right? Like in a medieval not not a bodyguard, a night guard, <laughs> a soldier type of uh guard. Meshi Tsukai, on the other hand. Does have use in it, um, but Meshi Sky is a servant. So this is the guard um, basically depended on the servant to do a job, or they left the job to the servant. Um, is probably how we'd say that naturally in English, which is weird. Why would you left, leave behind, like no koru? <laughs> the, the guard left the job to the servant, but literally is the job. Depends. Um. Anyway, this starts with she. What did it end with? Goto. Perfect. Can you read this sentence for me? Kusari kaketa. Ki hako o akenai no de. Dorobo ni akeru shigoto o makaseta. Can you say tree, um, wooden box for me again? Kihako. Hmm. Kiba. Hi. Wasari kaketa. Kusari kaketa. Kusari kaketa. It's rotted. Hi. The rotted wooden box. Uh, I no deck. I cannot open the box. Therefore, dorobo ni akeru shigoto o makaseta. I left left the job up to the thief. And what kind of job was it? Um, oh, it's not ageru, it's akeru. Just in case the up in there was for that. The makasuru left up to is perfect for translating makasuru is that. Akeru is to open, right? From akenai. So I left the job of opening it to the thief. Uh, I just made it more obvious we're talking about what job he's leaving. <laughs> akeru <shigoto. laughs> um, okay, and here is our last line of the day. Sasoku Kibako no Kusari Kaketa Uta o Aketa Shunkan Nebari ga Beshi no Ore ni Kono Shigoto o Makaseta Wake Kawata Wakata. Right. Wake so, ga wakata. Let's start with our time phrase, shunkan. At the moment that I op open the lid that was rotting. Box? Yeah, so this is the lid of the box that is rotting, or the um the box the the lid of the rotted box specifically. Uh, the box is what is rotted here, rather than really the lid. But the lid could be rotten as well. But specifically, it's the rotted box's lid. The and... rotted. I I, funny. I thought that. The waketa, right? The kusari kaketa 
directly modify the thing that come after it, which is futa. Right. So relative so, clauses. Hmm. Relative clauses are really interesting in Japanese. <laughs> um, for example, um, uh, dorobo wa majutsushi o koroshita. What does that mean? The thief kills the magician. Hi. This can be rearranged as Dorobo no Koroshita Majutsushi. This is grammatically. The magician whose was killed by the thief. Yes. But you can also rearrange it as. Sorry, Jutsushi o Koroshita Dorobo. These are all the exact same sentence. There's no actual difference so in meaning here other than just what is the goal of the bigger sentence that this mini sentence is going to be inside. All of these are describing a magician that is being killed by a thief or perhaps the thief that killed the magician. It's all the same sentence. And this is the what relative clauses do which is why it's really important to look at particles. Because the particles is telling you who is doing the action and who what is what is the role of that. So in the previous sentence, we had the no marked by kibako, which means kibako ga kusari kaketa was our sentence, which is the box is rotted. And most likely, futa was here being describing the kibato, the, 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 the kibako ga kuri kusari kaketa. It could be um, fude no, for example, futa no. Which is the box, the wooden box, the, the the lid's wooden box is rotted, is the most likely way that this would be rearranged. Just saying the the lid belongs to the box. This was the sentence before we started moving things around. The lid's box was rotted. So we just took off the lid and moved it all the way over here so that um, we could continue describing the lid with some kind of action. Um, so lid's kind of hard because it's uh, contextually what you're doing. So relative class of Japanese have a lot of contextual clues that you have to really pay attention to what the particles are doing. Um, if this uh, was not here, this would 100% mean the rotted lid. That would be the logical assumption to make. Versus with this being modified, we're more likely describing the box as rotted, and we're not actually specifically describing the lid, but the lid is probably also slightly rotted since it's connected to the box. But the main point of this section is that um, the box is rotted. Like that's our main thing. So it's the lid of the rotted box. The lid whose box is rotted. Does that make sense? Hi. Lid whose box is rotted. Hi. This was kind of, this is kind of similar uh, when we used um, ueni to describe the location of a door in a different sentence of the book, um, which was a similar thing to this. But anyway, let's translate the sentence. What does it say? Sorry, it's really Hi, um, How many minutes left? I, Kong, when I open the lid of the rotted box. Hi, and Sasoko means he did this so, immediately. So immediately. Hi. He immediately woke up that. I immediately understand the reason that nobody 
、あ弟子の俺に、he, the reason for leaving this task, this job, to me, the apprentice. Perfect. That's even how he says it. He's like,、ah, I get it. This is why he's leaving this job to me, the apprentice. Khan's Con, very、um, excited about what he found in the box. <laughs> 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 the cute, the cute. 